All right, it's so time for entertainment. Miss G is here. Hello, Miss G. Hello, Israel. How are you doing? I'm well. How about you? Uh, very well. So, have you ever thought about uh, one of the Koba law and what he thinks about Sister Debbie and medical relationship? No, I haven't thought about it, but I didn't think that he would actually mind. You think so? Don't you mind yeah. who your sister is dating or is married to? No, but I mean, knowing one love, uh -huh. these things don't <laughs> really bother him. Well, maybe Israel is right. Let's hear one love himself. I mean, your sister and medical. Oh, they are very, they have fun. I'm always watching their Snapchats, meeting them. They're always laughing together, joking. They're pushing each other. You know, Deborah pushes um, him with, you know, the branding and he also pushes her with the business because he's a very business-minded guy. And so they push each other, you know, to mm. excel. This is the issue with uh, your sister and uh, 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 medical, mm -hmm. the age difference. Ah, uh, oh. And not so awful. So what, what's your take on that? You for me, dear, I've always said, I mean, even Aliyah had that song, Age is Nothing But a Number. And Deborah, apart from even looking young, she's very playful, very young at heart. Mm. So until she releases her age to you, you won't even know. People always think she's a police, always asking her for a license and so on and so forth. When she's outside of the country and she's buying alcohol, the people ask for her ID card to, to make sure she's over 21. Mm. So she looks young, very young. And so if that's even the issue, that's also kind of... Before my sister got together with him, mm. I was listening to his song, Connect. We we're going crazy about that song, where it says featuring Pono, yeah, featuring yeah. All, all these the people, artists and then you but it was him. Like them, yeah. And I was already a fan. Mm. Then I listened to Confirm and so on. Before I got... Before I think Deborah even met him. So mm. I was already a fan. And I was still a fan. Mm. What do you think about their relationship? I mean, your sister and Medica. Oh, they are very, they have fun. I'm always watching their Snapchats, meeting them. They're always laughing together, joking. They are pushing each other. You know, Deborah pushes um, him with, you know, the branding. And he also pushes her with the business because he's a very business minded guy. And so they push each other, you know, to mm. excel. So how, how your sister tell you about? Was it social media you come to know of it, or uh, you know, inform you officially, or you hear before you ask him? How how you hear say they did it? Too, I'm not too clear about how it happened. I can't remember. I know the guy really mm. how it happened. I know the guy. Mm. Wow! Oh, and the, for the first time you, you met Medica, how was it like? Oh, what really was the cool. conversation? Oh, Charlie, normal, like, what's up, Charlie, I like your music, oh, I like yours too. Mm -hmm. There's normal boys, boys talking, and, and I was, and I shot a video for him as well, around that time. Mm -hmm. And God bless you. You collect your money? Yeah. You collect our money? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you are contest, so why you collect our money? Yeah, I think it was like a silent kind of a contadious kind of thing that went down, mm -hmm. you know. This is the issue with uh, your sister and uh, 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 medical, mm -hmm. the age difference. Ah, uh, oh. And not so awful. <laughs> so what, what's your take on that? You... For me, dear, I've always said, I mean, even Aliyah had that song, Age is Nothing But a Number. And Deborah, apart from even looking young, she's very playful, very young at heart. Mm. So until she releases her age to you, you won't even know. People always... All right, so it was uh, going on uh, mm, oh, repeat. Yeah. I'm sure he said so many other things. Yes, yes, yes. He says he wants an iPhone 7 Plus for his Akunta second. So no, but he said he had taken some money from that's the That's for already. shooting a video for medical. But he that said that it was like some... Akunta. Silence one. Silence. But this one, proper one, if you're getting married, what he wants, he doesn't want child. He just wants an iPhone 7 Plus. Just that. That's just that will be okay for one of the Kobolo. Okay, but I, I... Okay, so I was thinking that at least... Mm -hmm. And one of the things that would worry him is when he sees the medical guy. Then he say, hey, "Do you where you do?" He says when medical and Sister Debbie decide to go into the room, he doesn't want to be anywhere around there. But that's a story for another day. Now let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about gospel group preachers. Now they have been winning awards beyond the shores of Ghana, but here in Ghana, it doesn't seem like uh, anybody is no giving them any award or giving them due recognition for the work they've been doing because they're gospel artists. You know, we know secular groups and rap groups and all that. So they're telling me how difficult it is for churches to accept what they're doing as rappers, even though gradually the youth are growing with them. Now I'm asking them, is it not better you go to the nightclubs to perform since, you know, you're <laughs> rappers, you win souls for Christ there. How about also considering collaborations with the secular rapper? 
they are not too sure they can do that. But here's preachers. We're Christians first, then rappers, right? So it, it's incumbent in us to live a certain lifestyle. Yes, exactly. You know, we, we move by the Spirit. Yeah, so the Spirit hasn't taught you to go to the club. We haven't heard a voice like that, but then, I don't know. Who, maybe who, 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 maybe invite us to a club and who knows? Because I'm just asking, there. because <laughs> there are many souls who are out there mm -hmm. going in the club. So how about that market? Who, who deals with that market? Uh, we pray a lot, Yeah. honestly, we pray. And when you are not told to do something and you do it, irrespective of the drive, you will, you will, you will miss it. You will still preach to them in the club and it will still not go down. But if God is saying that, okay, yo, guys, go here and go and preach to these people. Maybe there are two or three people he needs to touch there. It happens. After passing through all that, that's when your gospel nature also has to play with you. Right? So what does he mean? You go through the process. Yes. Whether you're a gospel artist or a secular artist, yes. you go through the process. Yes. And along the line, you might pass or you may not pass. So, so we can't outrightly say no is at it this possible? point. That, um, yeah. Why not? It's, it's possible. It's possible. So, is it difficult for you to say yes or no? You guys are behaving because like you're holier than thou. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> we're not. Thou. We're not. But here, here, here's the thing. You're behaving like you're holier than thou. No, I, I, we we haven't said no. To talk. No, we haven't said no. To talk. Yes, because, because of this attitude, people won't come to the church. Because oh, you want to embrace please. them when they come and say, we want to do a collaboration with you. We feel you as gospel musicians. Mm. You want to cross into your market, you cross into ours. It's a business, but yet still you're touching lives. And you don't want to continue no, that. We are saying that. And after we the process... all the processes and all that. No, but would you give would, we consider, would, would you consider... Is there a possibility? Yes, yeah, something with Manifest Sakodye, Yapono, and all the rappers that we have. Maybe. Or even... Maybe, may, yes. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what what else you want us to say. The say fact yes that we no. the fact that we're talking say about yes it. No. The, the fact that we're yes no. the fact that we're talking yes about no. it. Maybe. Yes and no. So if we approach manifest, he will consider. He will, he will think Would about it. Would you make it. an initiative to approach a circular artist? Oh, if, I mean, if we're moved by it, if we're moved by. It. Do you know that you know? Do you know that uh, we can limit ourselves mm. if we say we are just captain you know, Christians and we are because we're for the Christian market. Mm. But we're not. For no, the we market. we understand. We understand. We're not for the, the Christian, market. For the Christian yeah, market. Yes, so yes we won't do a collaboration with the secular. We're not for the Christian market. Yes, sir. Why are you giving them so much pressure? Because I do understand why we can't just allow secular artists and gospel artists to do something together. So long as it's projecting, you know, the gospel, why not? Well, they don't want to be unequally yoked. They said that's not yeah, what they're saying. Believers. You know? <laughs> anyway, so away from that, EL is back on the road. We are waiting for bar four. You know, we have bar one, bar two, bar three, and we're waiting for bar four. And I hear that the name is WAV, whatever that means yet. Okay. But he's considering sucking his management because he thinks that after he won the Artist of the Year in 2016, he have not been able to project all that he's done. You know, he's been touring with Lauren Hill, he's been out there, but we don't hardly hear these things. He thinks his management should be held Has he really been touring with Lauren Hill? Yes, he has been out there with Lauren Hill. That's what he sells you. But I've seen pictures of them touring, uh, but his management won't project that part of him. But he's speaking to Becky about, you know, his absence, you know, the perceived absence, and then five things you don't know about him. I think you love the number four. I don't see where those comments are coming from, because since the year started, I've released over, over six songs. And, 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 and I've released a video for See Me Sometime. Um, the video for Abba is coming out very soon. We're about to start doing shows back to back. I've been doing shows outside, which you might not necessarily hear about over here. Oh, yes, I've been touring with Lauren Hill as well. So I think all those, all those things, yeah, I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe people want me to work even harder than I'm working yeah, right now. So if you wonder how I do my thing, maybe my God. Tell us five things we don't know about you. Wow, five things you don't know about me. Um, first thing is I have over five siblings, brothers and sisters, and they are spread all across the world. The second thing you don't know about me is I was born with an extra finger on each hand. So I had I, I actually have six fingers on each hand. You can, can see it over there, but when I was born it was cut off. And so that's the second thing yeah, you don't know about me. The third thing is 
uh, I record my music, all my music alone by myself. I don't like there to be anybody else in the studio. I like to record by myself, just one person recording um, my music. The um, fourth thing you don't know about me is I don't like birthdays. I don't, I don't like to celebrate birthdays. I like to celebrate every day as it comes, but I don't like to set apart one day in the year so that I get all the calls from the people who haven't called me and try and wish me. I don't like that. And then the, the last thing you don't know about me is I'm a helpless romantic. I, uh, yeah, I, I, when it comes to emotions about somebody you care about, I'm very, very broken down. So that's. I have some great tracks, no doubt. Uh, yeah, Coco and Coco, Coco is one of but them. But I'm, I'm excited for Eel because it means that any girl who has Eel has a boyfriend, as a boyfriend knows that, you know, he's helpless when it comes to, you know, his relationships so far as he loves her. Ah, hey. Okay. Oh, why, why are you, you jealous? Feel, why are you feeling so angry <laughs> about it? He's a it's not, it's not like he's coming in for you. No, no, I'm just excited. I, you know how they say the men are. Like, so when you, a man is able to tell you that I'm a helpless who's romantic. Who's his woman? Um, not too sure. Bella says they don't have anything going on. So. Bella Mundi. Yes, but they he says Bella is going. kind of girl, you know. But Bella says there's nothing happening. So he says Bella is his girl. Oh, he rapped with Bella's name in but, there. But Bella then but says, Bella says, no. Is that to suggest that he's for skinning Bella? Something like that. Oh, huh. In one of the <laughs> Kubola's <laughs> boys. Anyway, that will be for entertainment, Zidro. All right, thank you very much, Ms. G, with entertainment. She'll be back with the Journeys Interactive. We're taking a break. We'll bring you sports with Gary Al Smith. <laughs>